Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make restaurant style Mexican black beans. These are just like the black beans you get from your favorite Mexican restaurant and guess what? They're also super easy to make. To start, you'll need one yellow onion. You really only need a small one. This one's a little big so maybe we won't use the whole thing, but we'll cut off the ends and then dice. I like to go for a fairly small dice so that these blend in well with the beans. You'll also need to mince three cloves of garlic and you'll need some spices as well, so get those ready. Along with two 15 ounce cans of black beans and you wanna make sure that you do not drain them. You actually want all of the liquid that's in with the beans. So once again, do not drain them. Next, we'll head on over to the stove. Get a tablespoon of cooking oil heating in a skillet over medium high heat. Then we'll add in all of our diced onion and get that cooking. Saute these for about five to seven minutes until the onion is soft and translucent. Then once those are soft, you'll add in your minced garlic. You'll need three cloves minced and get that cooking as well. Garlic burns really easily, so you really only need to cook it for 60 to 90 seconds to get the best flavor. Spices also can release their flavor with heat, so add in half a teaspoon of ground cumin and about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper to give this a little kick and let that toast as well. Then after about 30 seconds, we will pour in our two 15 ounce cans of black beans that once again are not drained. Now a lot of times restaurants will add in some lard because honestly fat has a lot of flavor and it makes this super delicious. I'm gonna skip that to make it a little healthier, but you could always add in some lard or shortening or butter if you want that added creamy fatty goodness. You'll wanna let these cook just enough to heat the beans all the way through about two to three minutes. Then you'll want to salt these to taste. I start with about a quarter teaspoon, but the amount of salt you add depends on whether or not you used low sodium black beans. Super simple, super easy to make, and it goes great with any Mexican meal. I will garnish mine with a little bit of freshly chopped cilantro, but we are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.